JSOCs just continue to impress with the docks that they're putting out, and the M2 dock is no exception. Just look at how gorgeous this dock is, and you'll have to forgive the size. It's full 4K compatible, as you can see here with some 4K Red Dead Redemption 2 footage. It works absolutely perfectly with Windows, as you can see here with some Chivalry 2 footage running on Windows, as this is still unsupported on Steam Deck, unfortunately. However, there are a few issues, three issues that actually bug me on this one, so I will come back to those. One of them is a little bit silly, but two you do need to take note of. So let's have a look at this device. It is just absolutely stunning design. I love the embossment on this just to break up the style. And underneath the hood here we have, see it's just a little bit shorter than the previous JSOX dock and it does only have two USB ports instead of three. And we can just pop the top off here to see the M2 in. Uh, very thankful for JSOX for sending me this to review and they even provided me with the two terabyte version which I am extremely grateful for as you'll see that I have this now set for almost a terabyte in Windows and SteamOS. So the big, big advantage with this is you can have it docked and you can partition it to have space in SteamOS and Windows, which I've covered in the Windows 10 install guide if you want to do this. And having the auto mount script means that you'd never have to worry about having your storage mounted as well. So do check out the auto mount script if you've picked up your M2, even if you're just using it in Steam OS. Viewing angle wise, it's pretty much on par with the previous JSOC stock. And missing that extra USB cable isn't the end of the world, considering the M2 is now part of the deck. And you don't have to have it connected by another external port, so you've got space for your mouse and keyboard if you want it. This is a fair amount heavier and it is a fair amount wider than the previous docks and that's to be expected to be heat sinking for the M2 that's put in the top there. All round design is just absolutely flawless. It does lack a little bit of ventilation but the extra size does help with it acting as a bit of a heat sink. Overheating has not been an issue and as you can see here I partitioned mine so that it was around 950 gig for Steam OS and Windows. And for a two terabyte dock, you're only getting around 1,863 gigabytes, which is kind of expected from most storage as we lose some for the internal bits and pieces, but not too much lost overall there. Output of 4K60 was not an issue. Obviously Red Dead Redemption 2 is quite a challenging game anyway. So you're not going to get the full 60 frames per second, but the dock is more than capable of doing it if you do want to put it on a bigger screen. And performance for the M2 is really where it comes into its own. Whether you are running Windows or Steam OS, you do get that performance way better than any SD card that you're going to be able to run there. And it feels just as good as running it off the internal on the Steam Deck. And there's a bonus for this. You can pick this up for around $118 without an M2 or with a terabyte M2 for $180 and with a two terabyte for $243. This is an absolute bargain. You're not gonna be able to pick up an M2 much cheaper than that, but obviously you can buy it without the M2 and install your own if that's what you prefer. Also, if you pick this up anytime now between I believe the end of the month, you will also get a bonus pack of skins and the portable pop-up stand as well. So a great bonus for being able to take it out and about and make a bit more protection. Okay, so I am a huge fan of the M2, but I have hammered this device over the past couple of weeks and I have encountered a few issues. So just to be aware, if you are using this in Steam OS, even with the auto mount script, there are some instances if it powers off at the wrong point in time, a game doesn't quite install correctly, or it just seems to be sometimes random that it will forget that there is a Steam library on the M2. For some reason, it's still picked up okay in third-party launches, but SteamOS just seems to forget. To fix this, all you need to do, though, is pick on one of the games that were already installed on the M2, or one that you want to download, and just click the Install button and select the M2 drive to say Add to the Library, and you'll see that it will instantly download, because it's already there and it just needed to remap it. The second issue is I've had a couple of instances where I've rebooted the Steam Deck with it all plugged into the dock and it has locked up on me. 
This has happened a fair amount of times on the boot and the only way to fix it was to force shut off the Steam Deck, unplug it from the dock and let it boot normally and then reboot it again with the dock connected. So do look out for that. I'm not sure whether this is just a Steam Deck issue overall or whether occasionally the M2 on the JSOX dock just needs to power down completely in between reboots. The third issue is a bit of a silly one, and that's that the official Steam Deck dock is now available. However, with the price point of this and not having the M2, even having the extra display port and USB over the M2 dock, I really don't feel like I want to use it. The M2 dock truly is a masterpiece, and I feel that it has kind of overshadowed Steam Deck's own official dock now. So let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are and whether you're still going to get the official one or whether the M2 has really swayed you. So there we have it, the M2 is definitely my favourite dock so far and it'll be very interesting to see once I get my hands on the official Steam Deck dock whether I can be swayed to use an external M2 again or whether the M2 really does have me for good. I've also heard from JSOX that they are making further improvements to the M2 dock so it really is exciting to see what they're going to do there. Keep your eye out on the socials to see what's happening there. And if you do want to pick one of these up, please use the links in the description below as it really helps us out on the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.